I went to uh, the reverend of the church. I went to some friends that I know were very active in church as well. And there was uh, nobody can, uh, you know, can, can answer the questions that I had. And I was just told, you know what, just forget it and believe. You know, and I prayed, you know, and I asked, you know, if this is for me, you know, guide me. I asked for guidance and Alhamdulillah, here I am today. I was basically practicing um, Islam before I had taken my Shahada. Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Now, as you can see from the title below, I am going to be sharing with you my journey to Islam. Now, I was raised in a Christian home where my brother, sisters and I would go to Sunday school every Sunday. Once that bus comes around, we would basically be on it and off we go. We also uh, went to church. I was baptized in a Christian church. I also was confirmed in a Christian church as well. All of my friends were Christians. Everyone in my little community were Christians. And um, anything that consists of um, going to church, you know, once we were asked to partake, we were actively involved. Now, um, I remember one time my sister had said to my mom that she would like to change her religion and my mom was saying to us, you know, guys, you can change your religion to whatever you want, but there is one particular religion she just didn't want us to change to, which, you know, doing my little uh, research, I fully understood why she said that. Now, I remember one time getting my hands on a book from, uh, I'm, I'm, I can't remember exactly what was the name of the author, but if I, I do have it, I can easily find it and link it in the description box below. So I started to read this book and this book was about Muhammad, you know, his journey, you know, the things that he did, it spoke about his, his first wife and, you know, his his journey as well into, uh, into Islam. And I was very intrigued by it. And I didn't say anything to my mom at the time, but I knew I had the okay with her you know, uh, when we had that conversation or when my sister had that conversation and I overheard her saying, you know, you can do, but, you know, definitely not just one religion. Now, I also um, read that book and I got into reading more books. And as time progressed, I kind of just, you know, forgot about it for a while. And as, you know, as so much things was happening in the world, um, I, it can't, I kind of questioned myself if this is what I wanted to do. So I kind of left it, you know, for a while and it just, you know, it, it stayed in my head, you know, even though it was silently behind, I left it at the back burner. Uh, it was just in my head, just rolling around, but so much was going on in the world at the time. And, um, I remember one time driving through the Hudson River Tunnel and i was asked by uh my sister we were driving over from jersey uh and i remember my sister was you know saying to me you know what has the world come to if this is what god has done you know there was lots of questions we we kind of asked you know but there was no answers for um apart from that there was lots of questions that i too had um where I never got no answers for. I went to uh, the reverend of the church. I went to some friends that I know were very active in church as well. And there was uh, nobody can, uh, you know, can, can answer the questions that I had. And I was just told, you know what, just forget it and believe. Now, how am I to believe uh, something where there is no backstory to, and I'm the sort of person, like if, if there is something I want to find out, I'm going to go, you know, to the ends to find out what I need to. Now, fast forward to, to that, I, um, there was no one that I knew who were Muslims. I just used 
the internet at the time. I used every opportunity that I got to uh, search the the web. I went, uh, there was lots of videos that I watched. I will also link them in the description box for you be, be, be below. And um, I was very careful as to what videos that I, I watched, you know, obviously not everything on the internet, you know, it's, it is um, the truth. Apart from that, there was so much negativity around Islam and I was not scared at all. I just knew that everyone's perception or everyone's opinion of something is completely, diff completely different than what mine is or was at the time. And, um, you know, to, to do away with most of that, I just would stop listening. I didn't listen to uh, the news media, obviously, because you know what the, the news media does. Um, it highlights basically what it wants to. And I basically disconnected uh, myself from social media at the time. I also was not listening to news. I just, you know, took that opportunity, you know, and I prayed, you know, and I asked, you know, if this is for me, you know, guide me. I asked for guidance and Alhamdulillah, here I am today. I also um, had uh, work colleagues that um, I was very close to and they too were Muslims. Now this is fast forward 10 years ago um, when I moved to uh, the UK um i i felt like i was a bit lost at the time but i had a few uh friends where they were muslims i also had christian friends um when i when i came to the uk i were looking at the time for a church uh to be a part of i remember going to three churches and every time i went to church i just felt so out of place i don't know if you know what i'm talking about but i felt i don't want to say uncomfortable but i just didn't feel right you know and i asked for guidance i then found a church where i said to myself look this is what you have to do and you just got to do it which is what i did um i volunteered in that church I, I served at the church every Sunday. I was um, an, a server or an usher, if you would, if you would uh, want to say. And I did that relatively for about two years, I would want to say. And um, it just kept coming back in my mind. Like, you know, I just felt like there was something missing and I just had to find what it was. So what I did, I then, um, you know, I used to go to church every Sunday. I then started to go every other Sunday. Like I mentioned before, I had friends who were Muslims as well. And I watched how they would pray and the things they would say, the meaning to what they would say. It was basically um, giving me some of the answers to the questions that um, I had where no one were able to give me the answers to. I continued to read lots of books, books that was given to me by uh, friends, close friends. And um, I also began to read, uh, I began to read the uh, Quran. And from that, I basically, you know, prayed about it most of my time quiet time i spent um praying you know asking for answers like why do i feel this way you know help me to understand what's going on you know with myself and i i then decide like you know what i will speak to someone about it when i spoke to my daughter's dad you know he was not um in art but he was like you know he was very supportive to be honest he was very supportive he was actually the first person i told that um i was actually changing my religion or i am changing my religion at the time and um i would 
basically you know say certain things to him like in the morning if i would ring him i would say uh salam alaikum certain things he would say you know i would then mashallah alhamdulillah and he was very he was very intrigued by the things that i was saying and he was to be honest the words that he used he was like really proud of me that um you know i'm i'm a brave person which is i am definitely a brave person i'm i'm not afraid to you know go out there and get what i want to be honest now um moving forward from that i then started to uh talk to my family i also started wearing the hijab i wear as you can see i'm wearing my hijab now i started wearing my hijab it was not that i was wearing uh wearing it often which is that's going to be another video that I, I will put out for you as to how i were received when i wore my hijab i started wearing it on saturdays and um um i felt doing that it was just you know completely different and i was basically practicing um islam before i had taken my shahada i also have a, a video of me taking my shahada alhamdulillah i will also share that with you that is another video and um by reading all that i did and doing everything that i did i um decided that it was it was time i used to eat halal i stopped eating you know non-halal foods i started um introducing uh different things in the way i would uh, approach certain situations you know i did lots of that and basically i were practicing all that before taking my shahada i also used to practice praying and um even before taking my sh shahada so um that's when i decide you know what it is it is time that you know i do it uh but before doing that i spoke to two of my sisters and um i told them you know what i were going to be doing or what i have done and you know they were it, they were not shocked i don't know if they didn't you know fully understand what i was saying but um it was just like yeah and um i basically went ahead in taking my shahada and now here i am today now what i'm going to do i'm not going to allow this video to run really long uh i will also share with you guys like i've mentioned earlier in the video i'm going to be sharing with you uh the day when i took my shahada and other videos of me when i decided to fully wear my hijab and what was experienced during that time now guys i want to thank you for staying with me um share this video to anyone who you may feel you know it would be beneficial to and thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one